That looks like my mom's dog. That literally looks just like um, the other dog that was there when I adopted Enzo. <laughs> I think that's it. Morning. Hi. Look at that technique. Right? It's like a low. Uh, how much you need? Uh, we'll take a scoop if you got it. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right, I appreciate babe. it. Appreciate you it. Too. Happy day. Hey, you too, guys. Good luck. Sniper. All right, back in the kitchen. Like I said on the boat, we did get that live squid for bait and we caught some delicious rockfish with this squid. A lot of it we did uh, freeze for use later. And I did keep some for us to fry up for calamari. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I like to cut some calamari rings as well as use the head because honestly the, the, the tentacles are probably my favorite part. Um, last night what I did was I ran my finger down where the quill is right above the head. You can run your finger or use a knife. Cut that part out and all the guts come out. Wash it in an ice bath with some salt. Cleaned all the ink out. Wrapped them in paper towels. Threw them in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. So we got nice clean um, squid to fry up for some calamari. But with the head, what I like to do is I like to just cut right here. Um, everything's edible besides the eyes and the beak. But real quick, you just cut right above the eyes right there. You can see the eyes are gone and that beak is still attached. So that is not edible right there. But then you're left with all of this here. And that's, like I said, my favorite part. So we'll throw that to the side, run through these. Pretty quick and easy. This one I already, already did. So we have those done. Um, with the tube, I guess, or the rest of the squid, you can just kind of peel that skin off. Just using kind of the blade of the knife, just running it along the side there. All right, so we have the cleaned tube and we're just gonna cut them into our rings about about that size is perfect. So I'm gonna run through the rest of these, clean those up. But how we're going to make uh, our calamari is we're gonna use this tempura batter with, uh, we're gonna make a little beer batter with it. And then I'm gonna make a dipping sauce with some mirin and soy sauce. We're obviously gonna fry it in just some vegetable oil. And then uh, we can add a little bit of lemon if we want to. So I just kind of eyeball the tempura batter. Uh, you you want to make it a little more, I guess, thick than like a pancake batter mixture. A little chunky, but crack that beer. Just do a little bit in there. Always add a little more. Then grab a spoon. Mix that up. If you can't hear, we got the oil heating up right here. We'll get that nice and hot. So when we drop those in there, it fries nice, nice and quick. Stir that up. Again, the consistency is really important. If it's if there's too much beer or water, you can use water, obviously. Um, but if there's too much beer or water and it's too liquidy, it'll just come right off right when you put it in the oil. And if it's too thick, it just doesn't stay on as well either. So try to get that nice, that actually looks perfect. So it's still a little chunky. So it should hold on just fine. Um, with the calamari, what I also like to do is I'll dip each ring in this mixture here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of just straight tempura in here 
just to kind of coat it to get it real extra crispy. You can, if you only have enough to just do this, that's perfectly fine. But you'll see once you once you dip it in this on the side, after you roll it in there, it does make it extra crispy. Uh, what do you want to start with? Do you think? Yeah. You want to start with this? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna dip it in here. Um, just try to get it as evenly coated with these. I don't have we don't have chopsticks, huh? We do have chopsticks. Whatever. I want, it's too late for chopsticks. I'm already in here. Anyways, if you have chopsticks, it can make it a little easier, but just make sure it's kind of evenly coated. Looks pretty good. And again, we just like to just throw it into the dry to make sure you get a lot of that on there. It does add that little bit of extra crunchiness. All right. With the tentacles so they don't stick together, again, this, this helps having those chopsticks out. Just kind of like wiggle them around a little bit, slowly drop it in. If you drop it in all at once, there was a little bit of water left on there. I did pat it down with a paper towel, but that popping was just the water. It's frying up nice. Got our chopsticks, we're back in business. So that was not in there very long, but like I said, when you when you drop the tentacles in there, just kind of wiggle them around. If you drop them in all at once, they will get kind of stuck together. We'll do better on the next one, but nice golden brown. Toss that right there. Let's try a ring. So same thing. I'm gonna drop it in here. Try to get a nice e even coat. A little bit of that drip off. Actually, I'm turn this down just a little bit now. We're only doing one at a time. We can drop that temperature just a little. Okay. All right. And just keep going down the line. Man, that looks really good, doesn't it? It looks so good. <laughs> so that's looking really, really tasty. Rachel and I are both really excited to try that. Just throw a little ring in here. Kind of running low on the tempera batter there, but. Roll it around in here. Nice little coat. Drop it right in here. Oh yeah, that's done. Check that out. Look how good that looks. Mm. All right, that looks amazing it actually smells really good i was a little concerned that it wouldn't turn out because we didn't cook them the same night but they didn't stink this morning so that's always a good sign just gonna add a little bit of lemon here a little bit of lemon and then we're gonna have rachel be the uh the guinea pig i guess great great you ready for this mm -hmm. which yeah. one should i try first these ones are probably cooler those those ones came off after Right in the sauce. Hold on, let me get over here. Let's see. You know I like to try it first, like without a sauce. You're going no sauce? I know, I'll go yeah, sauce. Yeah. But usually. Do you want to use the chopsticks? You're really good at using chopsticks. No. Too much pressure. <laughs> Count more, you're supposed to eat the whole thing. Mm-mm. It sounds crunchy, that's good. Phenom. Is it? Mm -hmm. Actually? Mm -hmm. You're not just saying that? Mm -mm. Okay, that was a little nope. bit I'm not that good of it. It's been a minute since I've made this. Here. Is it really good? Let's see, is she going is she going for another one? Back to back? Yeah. That's like the real test if they actually go and get seconds right away and don't just like run off. Is it good? <laughs> That's awesome. Tasty. This is just our appetizer. Obviously that's not enough to 
to fill us for dinner. We are doing a catching catch and cook for the rockfish that we caught that same trip. But man, I gotta try this. Let me let me get in here. Okay. I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if she's she's fibbing. It sounded crunchy though when you're chewing on it. That was obviously a, a good sign. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's way better than the restaurant we just went to. Oh yeah. Oh, night and day. Wow. Mm. You ready to try the head? Yep. You know the tentacles? Yeah. You know what? No, you go first. You want me to go first? Mm hmm. I'm changing my hands on this bad boy. It's like fluffy. I know. It's like fluffy and crunchy. How are you supposed to eat it all in one bite? Not the head, that's a mm. lot. That's better. Is it good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, I can't wait. Mmm. <laughs> give it a rating out of 10. I give it like a solid 7 9. Maybe like a little seven, over nine. 8. 7 9? Yeah. Maybe a little over 8. I think maybe because we're eating the, the, the ones that have been cooling for a little bit. I don't know, but... I think this sauce is good, but I think I think tartar sauce would be a better choice or even like a little spicy mayo. Mm -hmm. I want something like, I don't know, like this is, this was good for the tempura that we did, but for some reason with the, the squid, maybe something like creamier. Or even like a... Like a cocktail sauce? Like what's mm. the, yeah, mm. cocktail sauce. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that. Yeah, a little cocktail sauce. I think that might be it. That's, it's like missing something, I think, that the sauce is what it's missing. But the quality of the squid itself. Fantastic. And the way that you cooked it. Chef's kiss. Fantastic. Hold All right. On. Try it, Rachel. Okay. Did you like the, the rings better or the tentacles better? If you had to pick. Obviously the tentacles because they're always better. I think so too. In it's... my opinion, I just have a preference, but like they are both delicious. It's just different texture, different taste. Overall, the squid itself was great quality. The way that you fried it was perfect. We we'll um, work on the sauce. The sauce. Game. The sauce. Yeah, but it's even still, yeah, it's still it's tasty still amazing. for sure. Yeah. But I think the cocktail sauce would be the way. I think that's exactly what it was missing, but good call. Well, next time. All right, well, that was our appetizer. We're gonna get to cooking the other stuff here, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss anything, and we will see you on the next one. Later.